Uh, we get this a lot, yeah? And this is a very honest question, but we get from a lot of people who is interested in data science, but don't know much about the whole industry and don't know much about the technical. So a lot of these people, when they are skeptical towards learning data science as a slow learner, they are a little bit afraid of the technical parts when it comes to learning something like data science. So over to you, Dr. Lau. I'm quite skeptical to learn data science as I'm a slow learner. Okay, so usually I would say that when you learn something, you felt like you are you're climbing uphill, right? Or you are slow. And that, that's exactly why you are slow because you are learning something new that's outside your existing uh, knowledge, existing boundaries. And that's the reason why you want to challenge yourself and get out of your comfort zone, right? And I think I, I always like the saying is that people always tell you like, oh, you need to get out of your comfort zone or think outside the box. But I think what I would say is that why don't you just expand your comfort zone, right? Or expand the size of your box and then you put in more knowledge and different skill sets and data science is definitely one of the in-demand skill sets that you will need to learn after you have gone through like you you move past the first and second weeks of picking the basic knowledge and you have the right fun fundamentals techniques and you know the tools to use i'm sure you'll pick up yeah and we have seen that a lot in our students as well we like to tell this a lot to our students and i'm sure dr la will agree on this as well instead of doing exercises we actually get students or get people to do real projects Let's say when, when you are practicing for a new sports, for example, badminton or basketball, you need a lot of drills and exercises, of course, when you are practicing, right? But what makes you good and what makes you uh, someone who have all the uh, practical knowledge and become a good player is that you really go on and do all the challenges and you gain experience through making mistakes, right? I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, you are going to make a lot of mistakes, but you can only make those mistakes by actually trying out the different practicals using real world data sets, understand how dirty is those data. Like most of the data scientists will agree with me is that we spend 60 to 70% of our time actually cleaning data preparing the data before we can actually dive into analyzing the data and this is why you need to work on practicals real world subjects and uh, exercises data sets rather than just doing all the same drills uh, over and over again yeah